Welcome to yet another video on Power BI. This is Manu from Climatics Data Labs and we're going to talk about the part two of formatting of charts in Power BI. So we already discussed how to do basic formatting on a very basic bar chart. This time we'll try to explore the formatting options available for other chart types, specifically uh, starting with bubble charts, which is a variation of a scatter plot. So in this bubble chart which we have already discussed in one of the last videos so we have uh, on the y and the x axis some fields and then we have written them under legends for regions and then we have size of these bubbles going by sum of population right so if we go to the formatting option available under this format your visual icon so up till here we already have discussed all the formatting options uh, markers this time for bubble chart is something unique so if you see there are different kind of shapes that you can have when you go for uh, formatting a scatter or a bubble plot uh, let me stick with the original one and then you can also have color borders so we have already colored the borders here but if I switch it off you'll see these are all getting mixed up but if I bring that on so it gives the clear cut border to the each bubble and give some sharpness to your visualization right i can also change the size of each bubble by using these arrow keys or maybe typing it here so this way you can adjust the size of the bubbles as per your requirement each color in this uh, i mean the legend colors you can change it from here for example i change this blue to black so this way you can change the legend colors category labels also you can add uh, which is again available in other chart types also but this will depend on uh, whether you want to bring them in or not because in this case the too many labels making it cluttered so maybe i'll use a tool tip instead to see what is the underlying bubble uh, this is about the scatter uh, bubble plot actually and another kind of visualization that has slightly different uh, what you say uh, visual effect uh, in terms of formatting option is the shape map so shape map we already discussed is created using the shape file if it is not not already available in the power bi by default this again we have discussed in the video on shape maps so if we go to the format section here you'll see the same option custom maps and we can bring in different map types here and in this case we had used the india district json file to create this map now over here we have different kind of projections available which is covered under advanced uh, mapping in power bi uh, then you can have then there are a few other options here but let's go to the fill color option which in this case is a gradient because over here if you see the visualization we had used color saturation on sum of population so lower color will have lighter shade higher uh, sorry lower population has lighter shade higher population has darker shade so if we go to fill colors and see here so the minimum color is light blue let's let's change it to uh, something let's say relatable so lower population is let's say green and higher population let's say is uh, red right so if i change the colors accordingly so i'll give a, get a gradient from green to red and green being good and red being not so good right so this way and then uh, these are the minimum and the maximum uh, in terms of this color gradient so maybe you want the color gradient to change from uh, some minimum and maximum value these are picked directly from the data but sometimes you might want to have custom numbers here so you can use this uh, the blank areas like for where the data is not available you can color them with something unique which identifies the black uh, the blank area sorry so if i use a black color to represent the blank area so like this so you'll have these black spots which means the data for this was not collated and not published in this data set right let's let's switch back to the gray and then then we have the borders here in this case the borders just like in the scatter plot uh, but the borders here is for the each small geography over here so for example if i color the borders with something like blue so you will see the borders now change to blue color over here right so these borders can also be changed you can change the width of this border if you want thicker or thinner lines you can increase or decrease from here Finally, I would also like to discuss this one more uh, formatting option, which is in the cards. Uh, so if you use the cards, which again we have discussed in previous video, you can enhance the look and feel of these cards. So maybe when you use the cards, typically they go on the top of your dashboard with some like this factual data. So you fill your visualization generally like something on the top like this, right? So you might want to have 
these small uh, boxes to emphasize more on the numbers over here so you can just change the call out value here and use some enhanced colors maybe let's say uh, let's say this is population it's alarming so you might want to use a dark red color right and display units can also be changed so let's say millions or billions depending on the use case but in this case i'll stick to billions you can add decimal place stuff right and you can even switch off the category labels like this or you can if you want you can have them and maybe uh, change the color and stuff over here right so maybe i want to use a this blue color over here right something like this so this way you can format the uh, cards over here and finally going to the very basic uh to say uh, bar chart uh, the uh, if you see we have regions here and some are population on x and y axis i've kept it really simple now over here there uh, not over here but in any of the charts rather if you go to the format uh, sorry if you click on the chart and then if you go to this format visual and if you go to general tab over here so there are some general settings for example you can select this properties and you can adjust the height and width of this visualization which is also linked to this right so if you change it from here you see that the values would change uh, sorry about that so the values would change over there automatically uh, in the size right you can also lock the aspect ratio from here by turning it on and off you can add a uh, position is like uh, where it this chart is available in this entire canvas uh, you can think of them as an x and y coordinate so if i change the position you see the position gets changed right this is helpful when you're doing some high-end designing wherein you want to be very particular about where you're placing the chart in terms of the location right also helps in kind of placing multiple charts at a specific horizontal vertical position padding is like uh, pad, putting a padding around the chart for example if i let's say just to show you if i increase the padding to something really large 50 pixels so you see this is uh, there's a space that has come in here likewise on top also i can bring in some padding and there's a padding on top of it right uh, then there are some advanced option like responsiveness so if i turn the responsiveness off or on so obviously it will bring in the responsiveness what responsiveness means is it makes your visualization uh, compatible with a mobile device uh, as simple as that right so if you want your charts not to distort on a mobile device they have a uh, capability to be responsive or be be uh, available both on mobile and uh, on a laptop then you make the design responsive obviously responsive designing uh, needs a specific kind of design skill in the sense you have to be sure that when using it in a mobile it has to be compatible with a mobile device right uh, so i mean in design wise so you use a responsive for that you can also turn the title on and off from here right so you see the title from here it's gone and now you can turn it off there are a few options for title over here not going there uh, it's very easy to understand next important one is the effects so if you see the background over here if i change it to some other color the background of the entire chart changes sometimes you might want to do this and you can also change the transparency of this uh, background color if you want right so you can make it less transparent or more transparent there is a border around it so right now there is no border but if you want to use a border around it so again you can uh, do it by going uh, to the borders over here and then you can turn it on so this way there is a border that comes around and you can change the color of this border as well right so maybe red or whatever you want shadow is another interesting feature if you turn it on it props a shadow over here and this gives a different ele design element to your visualization i prefer using dashboards specifically when you have uh, two three charts coming in in a, in a report it, it gives a really cool effect to your visualization and then you can specify where this visualization is like inside or outside like this so basically the default setting looks much better you can also say where the shadow should go bottom right or maybe top left something like this so you see how the uh, visualization is uh, the, the shadow is changing right and finally in you can have the tool tips switched off or on so if i switch off the tool tip so you see this tooltip is gone but if i switch it uh, on we'll have the tooltips over here right you can even do some formatting in tooltip for example you can uh, change the label color over here so for example if 
I go here now so you see the label is now blue in color and the value color can also be changed so sometimes it's important that you highlight these uh, labels in different colors because uh, it might not be visible in the background and then this background which is black of uh, in the tooltip maybe I want to make it let's say a little uh, grayish now if you see the the tooltip it is grayish in color right so this way you can use the best possible combination and these are the general formatting options in your uh, power bi so that brings us to the end of the part two of formatting your visuals or visualization in power bi uh, if you like our video do like share and comment on this video and uh, we will be back with more visualizations more uh, videos and more learning for you in next video. Thank you so much. This is Manu from Climatics Data Labs.